afternoon, you 911 guys. Uh, this is a little pre-video before I sh you watch the change of the brake pedal switch and the clutch pedal switch. They are separate videos, by the way. Um, this is after the event. Both of them have been changed. Uh, I had a problem with my cruise control in that the green light came up on the dash, but I was unable to engage it. I've changed that switch and fortunately, thumbs up, the cruise control is now working. As regards to the brake light switch, I changed that a year ago and I still had the PSM fault coming up. Um, I've changed that again. Um, I haven't had a PSM fault since. Now, I'm also now thinking that I, on the software, when you go through the individual switches, etc., the clutch pedal switch doesn't appear as an individual item. Now, I'm thinking it's possible now that although my system was showing up a brake light switch, that in actual fact, because it's in that location and they're actually tied in the loom together, that the clutch pedal switch was at fault. Who knows? It's a possibility. So if you have a random PSM fault and it's showing up brake light switch and you've shut, you've changed that switch, maybe look at your clutch switch. Like I say, they're very similar, as you'll see in the videos. Regarding servicing them, people say you can take them apart and clean them up, etc, etc. You can indeed do that, but you will see when you open it up, there's a spring centred in the middle and the four tabs are under a little bit of tension and they need to locate and rub on the rest of the switch as it's activated. If you've got any kind of short there or wear on any of those tabs, you're just gonna get the same problem creeping up either occasionally or as it was before. So replace the parts, stick with Porsche ones, don't buy the cheap copies because you'll be far better off. Anyway, enjoy the videos, and like I say, so far, no more problems with the PSM, and I'm now thinking uh -huh. that the clutch pedal switch might have had something to do with the fact that I was getting that random fault, but on the software, it was showing it up as a stoplight, brake light switch. But anyway, watch the videos uh, if you wanna know how to change them, and uh, here we go. Hi there YouTube, uh, Mind Mechanics Porsche Andy here, back with you. Um, today we are going to be fitting the clutch pedal switch, uh, which is located under the footwell uh, driver side of the car. Uh, genuine Porsche item. The part number uh, is 996-613-11401. Uh, obviously this part, I'm fitting this on a 997 Carrera C4S, um, the part is the same on the 996, I believe they use it on quite a few vehicles. I'll just open it up and give you a little look at it, see how it comes out of the packet. This one, unlike the other brake, the other one, which is the brake switch, uh, has a red bottom on it. Uh, this switch, predominantly, you need, this registers when you try and start the car, you push the clutch down. It acknowledges that and it also is connected to your cruise control and when you touch the clutch it disengages the cruise control uh, when you're using it on a on a fast road etc it can only go in one way there's a T molded a, a T fitting in the center of the switch which is how it will locate into the wiring harness and they are literally there's a couple of little lugs here and it literally push through a little hole with a, it's like a, a circle with two little slots in the end of it. And it will push into that and turn, quarter turn to lock off. And it's as simple as that. So let's try and get underneath there. You've got to be a contortionist. Let's have a go. The switch is located obviously uh, in the uh, brake pedal area. Now, the best thing to, you'll need is tight in there. So the best thing you can do is move your seat back as far as it will go and adjust your steering wheel, pull it out so that it's up and out as far as it can be. And then we're gonna slide on in underneath there and uh, give you a bird's eye view, hopefully, of uh, the location of the switch. 
Okay, there's the switch, the red switch with the little uh, band around it. Uh, it's pushed into the back of the clutch pedal. Uh, I'm going to try and remove it now. I'll just hang on a second. Let's see what I can do. Oh, bloody hell. I might not be able to do it on camera because I'm in the wrong position. Right, there it is. And it should uh, twist towards the driver's door, quarter turn, wiggle it out, and there it is. It will drop down just like that. So we've got a rump in it. You've got a little clip on that side, a little clip on that side. We'll undo those and uh, fit it back in the car. Whew. Right. The switch is now, the new switch is now fitted. Um, again, it's quite compressed again and it feels a little bit weak uh, to push down, whereas the other one had a lot more resistance. Um, you could also, I, I did it the way round where I took the old switch out, disconnected it, connected the new switch and put the whole thing back in wired um it works you can do it that way but alternatively if you're having trouble getting that twist and it is you've got to get right in there if you've got really large hands you might struggle uh, you could always put the switch in first and then locate the harness afterwards because again because of the location piece in the center of the switch you can't put it on the wrong way around so you could do it that way and you could do the brake pedal the same so like i say this is responsible for um registering when you push the clutch down to start the car and also engaging and disengaging of your cruise control so they're done um i didn't have any major faults my cruise control wasn't working uh and i'm just changing this as a matter of course um, to see if that cures that problem but anyway thanks for watching um like and subscribe if you can uh, I recently put a video up. Uh, I started playing with my camera on the car for the first time. Uh, for the fur out of about 75 videos, I've had a couple of dislikes. It's the first time I've had a dislike to a video that I've done. Um, I thought it was quite good, but clearly a couple of people didn't think it was that good. So I will do my best to improve my next video footage. Thanks for watching. Take care. Hope that helps you out. Bye for now.